Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today on the channel we're going to be checking out the smaller version of the Greyman Tactical Unbreakable Umbrella that we reviewed two months ago. So let's check it out. And of course, I got my friend Bob here to help me demonstrate. Bob, what do you say? Should we show the people what this thing can do? Bob? Anybody there? Come on, Bob, wake up. I think Bob's going to help us out, so let's check this out. Last video I showed myself beating this thing up in all different ways it is what they say it is it's an unbreakable umbrella well within reason I'm sure if you ran over it with a tank it's gonna break but in terms of the realm of self-defense man-to-man combat this is going to be a very formidable gray man tool and that's the most important thing here because this is a very inconspicuous self-defense tool there's not many things that you can essentially carry a club around and it be so socially acceptable. That is the real selling point with something like this is that it's socially acceptable, it's functional, it's dual purpose in the sense that it functions as an umbrella, but it also functions as a beatdown stick. So there's a variety of ways you can use this. Let's just turn Bob here, put him on an angle a bit variety of ways you can use something like this as a self-defense tool any way you could a club with your standard hit wrap on the head the side backhand to the jugular solar plexus eye socket I really like the thrusting movements what I like about jabbing with this pointy end is number one that's pointy so that's gonna get some penetration that's not gonna feel good at all no matter where you poke the person but also because you can palm up on it and because of that you don't have to worry about grabbing it like so and having it slip when you jab at somebody like that that's what's going to happen if you try to jab it this way even though this could be formidable at winding somebody like that in the stomach but the problem is is that it's going to slide uh, what i've proposed to the company is that they find a way to rubberize this or just have a bit of grip maybe a uh, line of rubber that spirals around it just to add a bit of grip to it so if you were to grab it like that and thrust it it's not going to be sliding it can't slide out of your hands if somebody tries to pull it away from you so if somebody grabbed this end they're going to have the advantage because they're going to have all the leverage here and you're going to have it pulled away from you whereas if you have a good handle on it here uh, it's going to be harder for them to pull it in this direction because you basically have, as long as your grip's nice and tight, firm on there, they're not going to be able to grab it away. Also, this metal tip is nothing to be messed with. I think this is some kind of aluminum, but it's heavy enough that if I was to give Bob a good wrap on the melon with it, that's still going to hurt. It's not going to deliver the damaging blow that this side would. I mean, that's... A skull fracture but this side is certainly gonna hurt no matter where you hit broken collarbone broken cheekbone skull fracture solar plexus to the jugular kidneys stomach so lots of ways that we can take a round out of Bob here in some of those countries and states where the nanny state prevails 
and you're not allowed to basically defend yourself uh, this is something which you know you can look at uh, in addition of course the tactical flashlights and whatnot a combination of those things is what you're going to be left with in order to protect yourself now obviously if i was the all-american prepper uh, i would think this is something for pussies only but you know like i said this is practical this is functional this blends in and this could very well protect you from a variety of different attacks even just putting distance between you and an attacker if they had a stick if they had a you know a baseball bat or something like that or a crowbar whatever they were trying to attack you with remember this thing right here is made to withstand a lot of force like you can't break it it's that strong and it retains its form even when i do that you can't quite see on the screen there it's out of the frame <laughs> but it retains its form when i stand on it when i put all my weight on this thing it still retains that straight form and it's a great umbrella like it's probably one of the coolest umbrellas i've used you can see the design here how well designed that is on the inside it's made of a combination of carbon fiber walnut so you can see how that functions there The thing I like about it is it's quick deploying and it's not locked up there so it's held in place by a spring but if you needed to quickly retract it in and use it as a club like weapon right away you still could you don't have to worry about wrapping it up or anything I mean if you wanted to go like that but even like this even when it's loose form like this you can still use it as a self-defense tool like that so and of course if you wanted to you put some distance between you and an attacker this is just going to create a bit of a facade so even if it is like this loose and it's not wrapped up it's still going to function very well as a self-defense tool it's not going to break not going to break not going to break you can still use it like that and if you want to use it as an umbrella you just pop it open just like so Pretty cool. You can beat the living crap out of this thing. <laughs> Still, at the end of the day, you're just Mary Poppins walking down the street minding your business you see the all-american prepper in your midst wanting to steal your preps you give him a dirty ass looking all right guys so if you want one of these umbrellas uh, i'm gonna post the link in the description great tool great Christmas present in my opinion especially for somebody who is not a prepper because this is something that they can have on them and not even know that they're carrying around a self-defense tool of course you can explain it to them what the purpose of it is and there's some people who might who are totally anti self-defense who may take offense to it but it's highly doubtful because it is quite fashionable looking it has that walnut handle and you know it's a, it's a very good functioning umbrella it's a high class umbrella great urban survival tool obviously not something a country boy is going to need but if you're in the city like millions and billions of people are this might definitely be a good gray man tool to add to your arsenal anyways i want to thank my friend bob here for being such a good sport let me know what you guys think about this product in the description. At some point down the road, I might consider selling these at CanadianPreparedness.com where we also currently sell the bug out roll and silky saws. So go check it out. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.